everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this grocery haul. I am actually on the way to Costco. It is Sunday afternoon. It is super bright outside. I need to put some sunglasses on and I have this guy and I have this guy and we are on our way to Costco. Now I have been so busy and not really on top of things. I think I want to do like a monthly shopping, but I'm not 100% sure. So I have a notebook, a pen. I have a kind of a meal plan, but I really need to make a shopping list. So luckily I have this chauffeur. Sounds like we're just going to fill up a cart and then see how much it costs. If you've been around for a while, you know that's not my MO. I always like a plan. We'll see how this goes. So I'm back from Costco looking a hot mess, but that's okay. I know y'all understand all you mamas out there where it's hot. It's probably, I don't even know what degree it is outside, but 90 something I'm sure like we live in the South and oh my gosh, just had to carry everything in. My husband actually hurt his back in the car. So, oh my gosh, me and my son carried all these groceries in. We spent, oh my gosh, jump roll please. Five hundred and thirteen dollars. Oh my gosh. I've never I don't think I've ever spent that much at Costco ever in my life ever. However, seems ridiculous, yes, and it kind of is. But we are trying to go once a month grocery shopping because we felt like two weeks was really hard on us. Um just how our bills fall and so we're trying this once a month. I used to go once a month and I really liked it. I do have some grocery hauls and I will link them uh, here because they are like once a month grocery hauls. They're like huge. So um, this really isn't that crazy but it's the first time I've done this at Costco. But we do homeschool. I'm a stay at home mom. We eat three meals a day at home. My husband takes his lunch to work. Um, so yeah, that's about $7 per person per day, which isn't great, but it's not terrible either. So let me show you guys what we got. I have no idea where to even jump in, so I'm just gonna jump in. So uh, sour cream, huge thing of sour cream, huge thing of cottage cheese. I have a couple of meals. Um, that require cottage cheese. We always use this for tacos and I have some meals that require it. Um, so this, because they'll last for a while, I think the expirations are, um, the cottage cheese won't last as long, but the sour cream will last until October. So that will be fine for us. That will last the month. And I usually, a lot of times I eat this for like a snack or a breakfast. So that was actually much better deal than what I've been getting actually. Um, this is one of the things that I'm trying for the first time. It's six uh, bags of brown basmati rice and it's basically like you can microwave it and I thought that would be really quick, convenient, easy. I want to say it was about $5.99 so a dollar a bag which is a little bit pricey but it was one of my like few splurges actually considering all these groceries. I uh, went ahead and grabbed these green beans. Um, I'm going to go ahead and snap them and probably use, keep half of them in the refrigerator, use them this week, and then I'll probably freeze the rest of them. And that will work for us because we have a small family. Sometimes I have to figure out things to make 
things last a little bit longer if I want to get a good price on them. Uh, three cucumbers. I really love these English cucumbers. I never thought I would be such a fan of them, but I love them. So does my son, and he has that. Um, he'll have at least a half a cucumber a lot of times at lunch. So that works out really good. Um, this is a really good deal. It's two bags of baby carrots, and they're really, really good, y'all. And um, my husband and my son will eat these kind of with ranch instead of chips. So I do not mind <laughs> buying carrots. Uh, these are all the tortillas. I really just needed three packs of eight tortillas. Um, but these were two, basically they're a 16 pack and a 16 pack. They were only $3.99, which is a really good price. So I went ahead and just grabbed more because we will eat them. And we do a lot of like tree sewn egg burritos and things like that. So they'll definitely get eaten up. They won't go to waste. My son likes these two for like taco night. Um, and sometimes they do hard shell, sometimes they do soft. Just depends. So we'll go around the table this way. Um, so right here on top, I was not sure about this. I actually mold this over, y'all. But this is four boxes of two pounds of pasta in each box. So it's eight pounds of pasta. Now I usually buy, for the month, I would buy four one pound boxes. Well, I wasn't sure, wasn't sure. This was still a good deal for the name brand and all that. And it was similar price. It was very similar price to if I would just spot the individual boxes it was about a dollar a box so I went ahead and just went with it because more of a convenience I was there I'd be stocked up for at least a month I wanted to get four of my regular sauce that I usually get I've been getting the Bertoli garlic and olive oil I love it they did not have it sometimes my Costco has it and sometimes it doesn't it's really hit or miss so I know now when I see it there that I really have to stock up this, though, was on such a good deal. I want to say it was $5.49 for all three jars. If you go to the grocery store and you buy one of these jars, and these are the bigger jars. I want to say this is like, it says two pounds, so 32 ounces, which I can use like half for my family in a meal because we're a small family. But this will keep for a while, and... If I don't love the flavor, I know I can add some spices, make it better. But I thought this would be really good um, for everything that I have planned. I have a lot of regular spaghetti planned. That's just kind of a staple in our house. And I have um, some other pasta dishes planned. So $5.49 for all three was such a good price that I actually got two of them. And I thought that was a good stock up price. So I have another three pack back here as well. But like I said, it'll shelf life stable, like it'll be fine. It doesn't even expire until 2021. So hope you will like it, cross our fingers. I did used to buy Classico for like years and years and years and years and years. So it's only within the last year maybe that I've been buying the Bertoli. So back here, I got some barbecue sauce. This, I just, it was more a convenience thing and I thought the price was really good. It was $5.99 for two bottles, so it was about $3 a bottle. It was, um, and they're the bigger bottles. So I thought this was good just because it's shelf life stable. And we can, um, we actually use this for a chicken recipe and it uses quite a bit. So I thought um, I might have some people over. I don't know like how um, the next couple weeks will turn out. So I wanted to make sure I had some good staple meals if I decided to have company. And that was one of them that um, if I have a video for it, I will link it for you here, but it's such a really good recipe. It's like basically chicken you put in the crock pot and then you put it over potatoes. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, this is something I normally don't end up buying there. I bought it here in the past and I'm hoping that it will be good. I've decided to try it again. You get three um, things of milk in here for $10. Um, the organic whole milk, I buy whole milk because me and my husband don't drink it a lot, but I use it in recipes and I use it, um, my son drinks it, and the doctor told me to get whole milk because they thought he needed to gain more weight. So that's why I've been buying that. Um, usually I get the Horizons, but um, since I was at Costco, I just thought I'm gonna go for it and see if we like this. Uh, this was something we were out of, so we decided to stock up. Uh, three things of ketchup. It's, oh my gosh, my family loves them some ketchup. 
I went ahead and grabbed a bag of avocados. Avocados are six, I want to say these were like $6.99 maybe $5.99, so it was about a dollar an avocado, which isn't terrible where I live. Gotta let them ripen up a while, as you can tell, but they'll be really good. It'll be fun. Uh, these are a little bit pricey, but it is something that we like, we love. If I peel these, oh my gosh, my guys would eat this in a week, y'all. And this is the big, like, five-pound one. Um, I do find that any other grocery store except for Aldi's has really good cuties. Um, I find that I love Costco produce. I wish Costco was closer than it is. It's about an hour away from me. Um, but if I peel these, they will eat them. One of our staple things at Costco that we always get is my family really loves Caesar salad. If I made a salad for them every night, they would eat it. My husband loves salad. So does my son. And so I try to kind of embrace it. These, I can get about two meals per salad kit. These are just really good. More of a convenience thing, but they really, really like it. It's $3.99. It's kind of like our, you know, you just have those things that you go to Costco and you love from Costco. Whether it's, you know, a really good deal or not, it really doesn't matter because you love it. That's kind of what this salad is to us. So bacon. This is something I see hauled all the time that people get the bacon from Costco. I have never got it but I decided to go for it. Um, four pounds of bacon, so this will last us a month. Um, my guys love them some bacon, oh my goodness. And my son, we actually cook regular like meals for breakfast usually. We don't have like cereal or anything like that. So a lot of times he'll ask for bacon. So um, I figured this was um, a pretty good deal and so it is four pounds of bacon. So that will be fine, it will keep fine, and um, I could freeze them if I wanted to, I think, so that would be good. Uh, this is something I have never bought from there before. It's the Extra Lean Ham. Um, I'm assuming it's pretty good, and there it's about three pounds of ham, which is great. It will last us all month. My husband really needs them for his lunches. Um, I didn't go ahead and buy. He use, usually likes ham sandwiches in his lunch, and he figured he could cut one of these in half and use it with one piece of cheese, and that would be a sandwich. So I'm guessing this will last us a pretty long time. My son does that too for lunch. Um, he calls it his king's a king's lunch when he has a ham sandwich like that. So I wanted to make sure I had enough. I thought this was a really good deal, and I think it will work out well for us. So on to the meat, y'all. So this is all the meat. Um, I decided that I really wanted to do roast one night, so I have here a chuck roast. You can see it was a little pricey, about $27, Ooh. but it's almost six pounds of meat. And one of them I'm actually gonna cut up and use for a Mexican recipe that my husband's mom used to make. It's called red chili. The other one we're gonna have um, kind of as a roast. I'm actually thinking about maybe cutting it in half and trying to get two out of that because that just seems big to me. So I'm not sure. So I'm. This is at least um, at least two meals with some leftovers, and it's kind of that specialty meal. So it's probably like that Sunday meal. You know, it's a, it's a good nice meal, not um, just a quick throw together. These I got last time I went to Costco and I really, really like it. I like the packaging of the individual packaging and it only costs a few dollars more. Uh, this was $27, $27.72. It is six of these. So not just three, there's six here. I love the way they're easy to store. Um, I love that they're easy to open, they're easy to cook with, and oh my gosh, so I use one of these per meal. I could see if your family was bigger that you would have to use more, and I just thought the bigger bag of chicken would be harder for me to store, and I don't have a huge freezer. So this I've been loving, and even doing the math, it's it works out fine. There's about two to three chicken breasts in each pack. Sometimes you'll have two, sometimes you'll have three, um, but we like it, seems okay, and yeah, that is something that we have been loving from Costco lately. This is actually something I'm trying for the first time. Um, this is ground turkey. It wasn't a terrible price. It was $17.43, and that's for four of these really big squares. I was trying to look on here and see how big, how much this meat was, like how big of an amount, because it looks big. But 
Um, this will go for our tacos. So we do tacos once a week. That's just a fun family thing that we do. It's something we've been doing for a while. And so each one of these will go for at least one meal with leftovers for the next day. And I find that using that leaner um, taco meat, I actually like it better. So I asked my husband and my son if they even noticed a difference. They said, no, we don't even notice. I said, okay, so we're gonna go back to using that because it is cheaper than ground beef. Speaking of ground beef, this is the ground beef that I usually buy from Costco. I really like it. It's a little over a pound. It's a pound, one pound, uh, like one and a third pound. So it's pretty good. Um, I can make this for my family and sometimes it's just enough and then sometimes we have leftovers. It just depends on what meal I'm making. Um, they sell them by the three and they're $20 for three of them. I actually got two of them. So this is $40 just in ground beef. So that's why my bill was actually so high because if you think about it, $40 in ground beef, 30 here, 30 here. I mean, that's $100 right there. Without even my turkey, that's 120. So I mean, meat, I mean, that was like, what, a good majority of my budget, you know, almost a fourth of my budget was just in meat and if you add in like bacon and things like that. So I really like the way this is packaged though and I've been loving it. I can, uh, my only tip is to tell you to break them apart when you actually freeze them because once they're frozen, I find they're really hard to pull apart. I don't have any idea why, but they'll just slide right here. So it works really good for me. I can kind of line them up. It works fine. So I have been loving these. So that will give us right here alone, if I used one package per everything, you're talking um, 18 meals just right here. Um, usually I can stretch it even farther. So there you go on that. This is a couple of things that did not fit on my table. As you can see, my table is quite full. So this is something I stock up on. I only get it, we don't actually eat this many fruit snacks in one month, but it usually lasts me at least two, if not three months. Um, and it's just kind of a fun thing. It's not something my son like reaches for all, all the time, but it's a really good price. These, these granola bars are our absolute favorite. There are 64 in here, I think, yeah. 64 bars, I love these. I eat them, my son eats them. My husband's always like, really, y'all eat those all the time. But we love them, so that is something, every time we go to Costco, this is kind of one of those stock up items that we love. And this will last me probably at least two months. So, because I have a small family, a lot of times going to Costco, um, I don't have to go every month, but when I do go, it's huge. So this is something that I've been meaning to get for the last two times I've gone to Costco. It is actually Ziploc's um, multi-pack. So it comes with sandwich bags, quartz storage bags, gallon bags, and snack bags. Um, this is like 11 something, and I just feel like I had bought it once before about a year ago, ran out, have not replenished it, and keep telling myself, oh my gosh, you need to do that. I do think, too, the quantities are a little bit more, like this is 52 gallon bags. So I think the quantities are a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like this is a really good Costco deal. Always get a rotisserie chicken. You can't go wrong. Oh my goodness. It was so funny. People were sitting there waiting for the fresh ones. Even though there was like two in there. I don't know what, what they were waiting for. But I was like, wow, okay. So I got this. It was piping hot. It is still hot, y'all. Still hot. It was piping hot when I took it off the thing. And it is still hot. I can't even believe it. So I am going to um, cut this up. And we'll probably use it tomorrow for dinner. This is something I eat all the time just as snacks. So I love these little grape tomatoes. I think this is a really good deal as well. And it is, um, they're just really good. The They don't have the brand that I normally really like, but this is a close second and I don't mind it because you get so many. This is also something that is one of our favorites. I know it is a little bit turned around here. So it's a little bit upside down, but it is something that is our favorite. And it is the five cheese tortellini. I see this hauled all the times. I love it because of the fact that it's ready in two minutes. And it really is. Like you 
just kind of boil this for two minutes and you're done. Put some sauce on it. I know lots of people put the pesto sauce on it. Um, I like that, but my guys don't like it. So, um, they haven't even tried it actually, but, um, we just put a little bit of sauce on this, some cheese, and we're like good to go. I mean, it's so easy and you know, like put an easy vegetable with it and you're like easy meal, fun, easy, fills everyone's belly. And it's good. Like on nights that we're like running out to church, we want to get there on time, things like that. So, um, everybody loves it and it's good. And I do love that it's about $10 and you get two meals out of it. So for a convenience meal for $5, that's really good. I think couple of things that I forgot to tell you guys back here. Um, I haven't actually tried the frozen asparagus here, but I hear it's really good. It's four bags of microwavable um, frozen asparagus. I love asparagus, so this is perfect for me, and that will be great. This was kind of one of my splurge items. It's Mexican-style street corn. Now, we are from Southern California, so we love the Mexican food, let me tell you. And my husband is actually Mexican. So this is roasted corn off the cob, coated in sauce, made with sour cream, chili powder, and a dash of lime. I could totally do this by myself. I could totally make this. Um, it's not that. I love the fact that there was like four different bags in here and that it was such, um, I don't know, it looked good and it was more the convenience of anything else. It was $10, which makes it about $2.50 per bag, but but on those nights where you really want a side dish, and a lot of times with Mexican food, it's really hard to find a good vegetable side dish, I felt like this would be better than nothing. So it's better than not serving any vegetables at all. And I just knew we would love it because we love Mexican street corn. All right, on to this side of the table. So um, I got two loaves of bread. I intend on freezing one of them, but oh, I don't know how that's gonna work out. So whew, cross your fingers. Uh, this is something I want to stock up on that I don't do every time at Costco. It is the salted butter. And so you get uh, four things of butter for, it's under $10, it's actually a really good deal. Uh, I went ahead and got fresh asparagus because I definitely love fresh asparagus more than frozen and theirs is always really good and even when it's in season you guys I mean the stocks are so thick it's amazing these are actually really thin for Costco but it's still probably better than any other grocery store I really do think that Costco has really good produce speaking of produce I did get some bananas I got the greenest ones I could find and they only had a few bananas left. They were a busy Costco today. <laughs> Over here, this actually goes with the meat, but I actually got a big thing of Nathan's hot dogs. And this is something that is so convenient. Um, I'm actually thinking that I'm going to um, freeze these a little bit in smaller quantities because that will be better for us. I did not get buns because I knew that I did not have enough room to freeze them. So that's something that I'll have to buy but they are not expensive and I was actually thinking about trying to make some. I went ahead and got heavy ripping cream. Um, we do use this in a couple of meals, but actually I really like it when we have like strawberries or something like that and I make regular whipped cream. So yeah, this is kind of a staple in our house. Uh, cheese was another thing. I was not sure what I would have room to freeze. So I really need to get a deep freezer, y'all. And um, so this is Kobe Jack cheese. I thought that I could use what I had in my refrigerator and then um, shred this and freeze it type of thing. Um, I might shred it and put it in bags before I freeze it. I'm just gonna see how kind of like all my meat over there goes. So I did get two of these. They were the same price as the shredded, but you have seen those big bags of shredded cheese at Costco, you know they're huge. Uh, right here that would not fit on the table is a whole case of tomato sauce and a whole case of green beans. This is something I just wanted to stock up on. There's 12 in each uh, case and I just thought I needed to stock up. It's hard to kind of figure out what to stock up on and I am working on kind of trying to put together some kind of food storage. So the actual tomato sauce is something I use all the time. I usually buy the smaller cans. 
Um, and so that's something I use in recipes all the time. I know this was like going to be a good buy for me. Um, green beans is something I just wanted to have stocked and I actually used, I think I only have one can in my whole house, which is crazy. So, and this, this was actually a really good deal as well. These are huge potatoes, huge um, for I think about seven dollars it's 15 pounds of potatoes and oh my gosh they were so big but I thought they'd be really good for baked potatoes I thought um, they would be good for all the recipes I needed them for and they were such a good price that I just went for the big 15 pound bag and I think that it will be fine so up here more fresh stuff I did um, splurge a little bit and get these peaches. I really want to make some peach cobbler. Um, I don't exactly, I know how to make a peach cobbler, but um, I had been just craving one. So I got these really wonderful, aren't these like the best peaches you've ever seen in your life? Look at those, oh my gosh, they look amazing. So I did splurge a little bit and get those. Um, I went ahead and got some celery because um, I do make a lot of soup and things like that and we'll just eat this as well um, and I needed it for a couple different recipes so I went ahead and just got the two pack and was done with it celery does last quite a while I feel like so it was a pretty good deal for me this is my other thing that I love to get there is the organic squash so you get summer squash and you get zucchini down here so you usually get four and four um, it's a really good price it's really um, usually really good actually the summer squash is probably the biggest I've seen it this year uh, so I know that it's in season at the moment but oh my goodness this is always good it's really good for me and um, I really like having it as a side plus I had a couple recipes that called for it back there this is the first time I have tried this um, they are cooked Italian meatballs huge bag I was like I don't know but the bag was actually a pretty good price um, I felt like the ingredients were pretty good considering and there's like I don't know something ridiculous like a hundred and something meatballs so that would be really good my guys really like to have that with spaghetti all my spaghetti stuff over here um, and they'll eat it like just by themselves so I thought too that's a good um, thing to stock up on to have kind of a quick meal I think I skipped this. I just went ahead and stocked up on this. I feel like I've been buying Parmesan cheese all the time. Y'all can relate when you feel like you've just been buying something a lot. I have no idea why. This will keep though and it's good. Um, I also wanted to make some stuffed shells as well because um, I thought I could have my son actually cook and help me make those and I thought he would think that's fun so I needed quite a bit of Parmesan cheese so I just said I'm going to just go with this kind. So the other stuff that would not fit here is we have um, just 24 eggs because I had quite a few eggs still. I got five dozen last time and I really liked that idea. And then somebody had actually given us some eggs that we've replenished with. Um, so I just got two dozen. We're big egg eaters here. So probably every morning that's something that we eat. Um, we went ahead and got some bathroom tissue and this is something I usually do not buy there. I usually love um, the brand of Scott but uh, for paper towels but um, I went ahead and just grabbed this because it was there and it feels like sometimes if I don't get it that I keep forgetting it or something like that so I just said you know what on this time I'm just going to go ahead and grab these. Um, these themselves were quite a bit they're quite expensive. I want to say this is like 16 and I want to say that's around the same price. So that's a big chunk. You're talking, you know, a good almost $40 right here. But last time I bought these was, you can actually go back a few Costco hauls and see, I want to say at least three months for toilet paper, which is great for my family. And I did buy something similar to this years ago I used to buy it at Sam's Club and it would last me for a really long time so I'm hoping um, this will last me a long time I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to store it yet but you know we'll figure it out here is another random splurge but we are huge Marvel fans oh my goodness you guys if you don't know we always go to the midnight showings like we're super nerds um, always have been from the very beginning before it was cool so we had to 
you know, by Endgame because it came out on Friday, I want to say. So this was like 22 something, um, which is pretty comparable to like Walmart um, because it's Blu-ray. So, you know, had to get it and look at Chris Evans. Okay, so I actually got four of these waters. If you all watch my cleaning videos, you know that I usually have four cases of water stuck next to my trash in my kitchen all the time. Um, this is just one case. The last three are in the car because I told you guys that my husband is hurting his back and he actually laid down and it seems um, to be just kind of a spasm. And so this is 40 bottles of water at three at $2.99 a case and so I like to have a lot on hand we live where there's hurricanes so you definitely have to be prepared and this was the lowest it's ever been so yep need to stock back up thank you guys so much for coming over for watching this haul I will see you guys in my next brand new video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload a video I usually upload about four times a week so there's always some kind of fun going on here and I will see you guys in my next brand new video bye for now